In this video lecture, I am going to discuss what, how to use nested select statement in Microsoft SQL Server. So, what exactly nested select statement? The select is a statement inside the select that called nested select. So, let's see the example. So, first here, I am going to show you the table that I am going to use. So, select a star from and uh, here select a star from. So, using the escort dot emp table now let's run this so this is the record inside escort dot emp table now after that the next is here writing the query of nested select statements so writing here select then a star and here from thereafter or select and a star from escort if you press start, then you can get a list of tables. So using here AMP, and uh, there is the problems. So that here you can see there is the problem. So we need to give here or uh, alias. Okay. So now you can see select statements inside the select statement that called nested select statement. So let's uh, run this query and uh, check the output. So now you can. Here you can see or uh, select a start first uh, the inner query that execute. So this is the record. So that this records and or uh, this record or uh, that comes. So all the columns and uh, now from here or uh, this all columns and this returned this also is now here. So this also a uh, start from E. So this all column return. But if you execute if you give here some particular column like EMP number and uh, here giving e name so two columns selected so select two columns from escort.emp so this here two columns and uh, if i execute this query so now you can see this two columns selected so inner query execute first so two columns uh, that return and select a start form so here there this only all two columns that's come here you can hear that two columns come like emp number and e name inner query that gives two columns so that here this uh, return to not all like that if i give here emp number and the next is e name and if this place giving the star so inner query that run first so this select all the columns and uh, from so this all columns only you need to select e emp number e name so that here this will display emp number and e name so if i execute this query so now you can see emp number e name that's the display now suppose uh, here you can see if i execute uh, uh, this query now you can see dpt number is there so here if i give uh, dpt number this place dp number so definitely this uh, is showing the error because this return dpt number and dpt number uh, here or uh, this inner query that return dpt number but dpt number uh, is not there and uh, emp number is not there enm is num number is not there so that uh, this will return invalid columns so here from inner query that return dpt number and dpt number is not matching with this tools so that here it's returning invalid columns but if i give here emp number this place so now you can see this error that com and uh, here let's give here ename then again this error that com now you can see there is no any error but uh, this inner query that returned three columns but we need to select here from the auto query this returned three columns but here auto query first inner query that execute this three columns that return and uh, from this three columns we need to select here emp number and enum so that here it's displaying emp number enum if you want uh, dpt include then you can give your dpt number also dpt number then or uh, this will know any problems and uh, three columns that uh, this time that is displaying here okay this so this is how inner query that works so inner queries sorry 
This is how select in nested select a statement that work in Microsoft SQL Server. So in the inside the nested select a statement, inner query that run first. After that, the that that do the process of outer query. So I hope guys, this video is the helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.